Shrub Blakely, Comcast Sports to your right. Uh, talk a little bit about just the start of this game. It seemed that from the jump, you guys were kind of fighting uphill against these guys. And just aside from LeBron James, what were some of the keys to them getting off to such a great start? I think their energy level was by far um, higher than ours to start the game. And they set the tone to start to, to, uh, on both ends of the court to start the game. And we just started playing catch up from there. I think we got to come out and play uh, a little more hard and a little more aggressive on both ends of the court to start the game. Bob Schron, the citizen. I know you guys probably don't want to uh, address it, but was there an emotional letdown after the Washington series and having to start this series one day later? Um, I don't think so. I mean, they just. They were the better team tonight. Um, they hit us first. They were more physical, um, like Jay said, on both ends of the floor. And that was the difference. And with a team that like that, the defending champions, you can't let them hit first. And it definitely would make sure it's different on game two. Uh, Steve Belpet, Boston Herald. The combination of those guys coming out hard, LeBron, and then you guys missing a bunch of shots, open shots. How difficult was that combination really to overcome? Um, it was big. I mean, we got the shots we wanted on the offensive end. Um, almost all of the first half, we got what we wanted. We just couldn't capitalize on it. And I think that was a, a big reason why our defense was let down as well. Um, it, it's tough to continue to keep playing hard, even though we need to, when you don't see shots fall. And, and we, we can't let that happen again. But I think that was a big reason why we, we had a letdown in that first half. Back here, uh, Gary Walsh from Boston Globe. Uh, Jay, primarily, how tough is it to guard LeBron one-on-one when he's going downhill, he's getting a head start? I mean, how tough is that? And how can you guys make it difficult for, more, for him and for Love in game two? Because both of them were able to be effective. Yeah, obviously he's a great scorer, and when he gets to going downhill, we just have to see bodies. Um, I have to do a better job of being up to touch on him, being on the ball, um, making it tougher. But yeah, he has to see bodies behind me, and um, we got to do a better job of, of showing help early and then getting out, spreading out to the shooters, so um, they don't be a factor in the game. But uh, we'll watch film and, and try to adjust to it uh, and give him a different look. Obviously, he got comfortable with what we were doing out there on the defensive end, and. Um, he had his way, so we gotta get, we gotta switch it up and come with a different game plan. Jay, Mark D'Amico, Celtics.com to your right. Um, you and I have talked quite a bit this year about you being a key portion of, of when you guys play a, a small ball lineup. This During this game, you guys did that during the second half. It seemed like you found a little bit more rhythm. What did you see that changed for you guys when you did go small that helped you catch a little bit more rhythm? Yeah, I think we were able to capitalize on how they were defending the pick and roll, especially with Isaiah being a primary ball handler. Uh, we was getting able to make reads and um, just play it simple. Uh, keep it very simple because we, we know we can get any shot we want against these guys. It's just about us keeping it simple and, and getting our reads and, and making the right play. But we'll take the good from the second half and cap try to watch film on it and, and get better and prepare better for game two. Hey, guys, you credited the athleticism of the opposing team, but – to what uh, do you credit the, the amount of time off that they had in their performance tonight? So many nights off, so many days off versus your one day off. Um, I mean, you got to you gotta give it to them. You got to tip your hat off to them. They were the better team tonight, and they had, the more, they, they had more energy than us. And I mean, it was obvious. They, they had a week or two off, and we just went seven games. And we can't use that as an excuse, but I mean, they, they hit us first, and they were the, the more energized, energized team tonight. So there was a reason for that. Adam Himmelsbach with Boston Globe. Um, Jay, when LeBron's out there, how do you balance deciding whether to double team and knowing there's so many shooters around him? And do you think kind of he kind of feasts on single coverage if he sees it sometimes? Well, yeah, um, I think he does a great job of surveying, surveying the defense and um, being a point guard and getting what he wants. But we have to do a better job of showing our help defense early. Uh, instead of late and being in scramble mode, we got to be early in our spots and show, and then get out to the shooters and, and, and not be uh, playing from behind. And it's just all about some little tweaks and minor things that we got to get better at on the defensive end and make it tougher on him. Um, I think we'll do a better job of the, the game too, but 
he's a he's a um, tough scorer when he got when he sees single single coverage, obviously. And I think he just got to see help defense, and from there we'll we'll be fine. Taylor Snow, Celtics.com. Brad was just saying how Jalen's athleticism could play a big impact for you guys in this series. Just what do you think of his impact tonight, and just what are your expectations for him moving forward? Yeah, he played well tonight. He, um, I think when we went small, he was a key factor in it, and being able to switch and play uh, against everybody on their on their team on the perimeter. So I feel like um, he will be key moving forward to game two. I think um, he brings a lot of um, athleticism to our team, and uh, we're going to use it against these guys. Brian Robb, 98 Father Sports Hub. Isaiah, how do you, how would you assess what the Cavs did, what, how they guarded you tonight? Did they do anything to surprise you, or were you, did you just, were you just out of rhythm a little bit in the first half? No, they didn't do anything. They, they played how they played throughout the season. Um, I just missed shots. Um, didn't get a rhythm, um, but next game I, I'll definitely be more aggressive to to make plays, get in the paint, and, and make stuff happen. But they didn't do nothing like the Wizards was doing or the Bulls were doing. They, they kind of played how they normally play.